Hi everyone, so today I'm recording a review for the Davy Lou watercolour set. They're in tubes and there is 24 tubes. They are 12 mil and it costs £13.29 on Amazon currently and that's on Prime so free delivery if you've got Prime, uh, free delivery if you spend £20 or over on Prime products and then I don't know how much it actually costs to deliver it if you don't have Prime and you don't get the free delivery thing to be honest. I've got some footage of me filling the palette at the beginning first which you're watching now and I'm doing that with the palette I got on Amazon. It was about £10, it came with the pans, so it's a 24 pan palette with 24 empty pans that I've then numbered myself so that if the pans get empty I can refill them with the same colour and I'm not confused about which one it was. That shouldn't be an issue with a 24 set, it might be. And it's just better to prevent it. So I'm going to be um, comparing these paints with the Winsor & Newton Cotman paints. Now I have the studio set which is a 45 half pan set from Windsor & Newton and that costs £31.86 which on the surface sounds like a better deal, however with the Davy Lou ones, those tubes, this isn't 100% accurate, I haven't tested this because it would be a waste of paint, but I think those tubes would fill a half pan about four times, so for the Davy Lou one you're paying 13.8p per pan and with the Winsor & Newton set you're actually paying 70.8p per pan so it's a lot more expensive but the Winsor & Newton set comes with the palette that it's in it's just a plastic palette, it's not metal or anything and because it's a big palette it's not particularly portable the Davy Lou paints work out cheaper even in the short term, buying the Davy Lou paints and the palette was cheaper than the Winsor & Newton palette although you get less colours, you get more paint in the long run I will say with the Davy Lou set, I think that there was only one pink and one purple and if somebody uses a lot of pinks and purples, I'd have preferred if maybe there was like one less blue, one less green and we got an extra pink and purple. But that's just personal preference, what do you use more? I can mix pinks and purples, it's not the end of the world, I've got everything I need to mix pretty much any colour ever here, so it's not that big of an issue. So I'm just loading those pans into the palette now and you see during the process I used a pin to make all of the paint hit the corners of the pan so that it wasn't going to fall out and there wasn't too many air gaps which I thought would prevent cracking because I did no research <laughs> so I did no research and I should have because if you look up anywhere anyone telling you to fill your own pans will tell you to do it little by little to prevent cracking and I didn't do it little by little and thus I got a lot of cracking in my pans um, So I'm just like trying to rectify that now, fill it in a bit. I have another go at this again afterwards. In the end, my palette isn't that pretty. Um, it is quite cracked. It cracks farther than this film shows, but you know, that is completely my fault for not researching it. It has nothing to do with the paints and it doesn't affect the functionality of the palette at all. It changes nothing. It just looks a little uglier than a uh, pre-filled palette like the Winsor & Newton one does. We'll be doing some swatches to compare those in a second. I've just put these paints in the palette in the order that the tubes come in the box uh, so that there's no confusion and just a little like summary about the paints. These are vegan so there's no ox school, there's no honey which a lot of paints will at least have ox school, quite a lot of them also have honey. So a lot of watercolour paints aren't vegan. Um, they're also meant to be quite light fast, I can't guarantee that. I have not put these in the sunlight, I don't want to ruin any of my paintings, but I could do a light fastness test and update you on Instagram if you were interested. Um, and they are meant to be non-toxic, so obviously still don't eat the paint, don't leave it on your hands for ages but it's not going to be as bad for you as other paints may be. 
So here I'm swatching them. And just to explain my swatching system, I'm doing a strip of water, so just wetting the paper in a strip. Then I apply a normal amount of paint, two thirds down. So the bottom third is testing how far the paint spreads and what kind of texture happens when it does. Then I go back in and at the top third, I just add more pigment to the top. So you can see a standard use of the paint if you were just doing a normal wash. The paints could be a bit more pigmented than I leave them at the top, but in a normal use, that's how it is. You could build it up further if you really wanted to. As you can see, they spread quite well uh, and they are pretty pigmented. They've got a good variety of colours, although like I said, I'd prefer to extra pink or purple, if possible. But then also I'm comparing this to a 45 pan set, so it's not going to have as many shades as that. So here I'm doing the direct comparison between the Davy Lou paints and the Winsor & Newton paints. I'm using the same swatching system so you can see how the Winsor & Newton paints spread and in this case they don't. <laughs> the Winsor & Newton paints hardly spread at all. Which isn't great if you want to do kind of spready abstract art. But if you don't care about spreading, then it doesn't really matter. Um, the Davy Lou paints won't spread unless you do the technique of leaving water next to them for them to spread into. So it's not anything that's going to hinder how you work. So if you don't want it to spread, it's not going to. But if you do want it to spread, the Davy Lou ones are definitely better than the Winsor & Newton ones. So on this left side, these swatches, these are a direct comparison between the colours that have the exact same name. So in theory, it should be pretty spot on, similar in colour. This right hand side that I'm doing, this is visual kind of ones that look similar to me, so they don't have the same names, some of them have similar names but not the same name. And they're just what I think would look similar, so you've got a comparison of if you already own some of the Winsor & Newton Coven paints what the Davy Lou ones look like compared to them. Uh, I compared all of the Davy Lou paints to the Winsor & Newton paints but I didn't swatch all of the Winsor & Newton paints because obviously there's not the same amount of colours and for the Davy Lou paints they've got a colour called Scarlet and I didn't find a colour that looked anywhere near the same. Well, there were other reds but none of them looked like they are quite similar to the Scarlet in the Winsor & Newton so I haven't got a comparison for that. You can see now the left side is dried. I... It's difficult to explain, so I think the Winsor & Newton ones are slightly more opaque and thus on camera it makes them look like they are more pigmented. I think in reality the Davy Lou ones are more pigmented and that sounds really confusing, but the Winsor & Newton ones aren't as bright. They are more pigmented, but they're also more muddy, so... For example, if you compare like Cadmium Red Deep and Vermilion, which when they're dried actually don't look very similar, may I say. Um, but the Vermilion's a lot brighter, the same with the Lemon Yellow Hue on the left side. The Davy Lou one is brighter, the Winsor & Newton one seems to cover the paper a little bit more, but with a kind of muddiness that doesn't look as good. So overall, I definitely recommend the Davy Lou paints. Um, as a disclaimer, I mentioned in my last video as well, and I'll put in the description, these paints were sent to me. Davy Lou have sent me several art supplies, but I did already own a paint set from them. I've used them in videos before. My most popular video is my little mini canvas paintings. They were done using Davy Lou paints that they did not send me. Um, I already owned them never spoken to them to before, so I've not let that sway my opinion at all. I do think the Davy Lou set is very good value, it's less than 15 quid, free delivery if you've got Prime, if not buy something else on Amazon, you'll get free delivery anyway. And you can fill your pan, I'd say at least three times, probably four, so it's very good value. If you'd like to see these in action, my last video has these in. My next video and the video after that will also have them in because I'm doing a series of paintings themed around spring. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me and I'll see you next time. Hope.